built the same way. Man, the struggle is a workout. It ain't easy lifting weights. You gotta curl through your family, curl through your friends. Keep your head above water. Let me teach you how to swim. What's up? What's up? What's up? Back at it again. Back at it again. Uh, first and foremost. I want to give a shout out to the listeners in uh, Brazil, Mexico, Spain, and Turkey. I just want to, you know, I'll keep it short, but I used to live in uh, Turkey for a little bit, so I just thought that was pretty cool. Things come back full circle sometimes. That's pretty cool. So, uh... Yeah, so this this podcast, like I said, I'm still I'm, st- I'm still just now getting the wheels turning. You know, as far as you know, everything we're going to touch and everything, is, like I always say, um, this is uh, we're starting at the very beginning. <laughs> starting at the very beginning, guys. So for the ones. Uh, it's probably like, oh man, this is all stupid. Or, you know, you're waiting to get to the goods or whatever. You may consider the good stuff. You know, just give it some time. Give it some time. I'm trying to get everybody caught up here. I'm trying to get everybody caught up. Uh, so, yeah, this is the THK Podcast. Take four. We're going to work on getting this better and better every time. I appreciate all the love everyone's been giving, the comments, the messages. I appreciate that. The subscribers, I appreciate that. It means a lot. It means a lot. It's going to help this thing keep going and uh, reach new levels. Like I said, we're going to get better and better. We already got plans, so uh, yeah, just stay tuned. Stay tuned. <clears throat> so yeah, I'm gonna start small, start simple. This easily could have been. The first topic, the very first podcast. So, I just want to get it to the basics. So, is this breed for you? Now, this podcast, I've been doing a lot just talking about working dogs in general, working breeds in general. But, being I own the American Pit Bull Terrier, I'm going to go ahead and use this one to speak on the American Pit Bull Terrier. With that said, don't get me wrong, I own plenty of other working dogs, just the American Pit Bull Terrier is just my my love, my my personal pride and joy. Reason behind that, a whole nother podcast. (laughs) So look out for that. All right, so is this breed for you? The American Pit Bull Terrier. Now from the outside looking in, you got a confident, athletic, beautiful looking dog. Um, almost do anything you can do. Probably will do anything as far as, uh, you know, being active type thing. I mean, I've seen them do rock climbing, all type of things. So, I mean, it's kind of on you, but this is, it's that type of breed. Uh, outside looking in, you're seeing uh, the trophies, maybe, or you're seeing uh, just the pictures of some good looking dogs. You're seeing some videos of dogs, of these dogs working, and uh, you're thinking, man, you know, especially for your common athlete, I know that's one of the attractions for me. I was like, man. These dogs work like I do, you know, and they're happy to do it. They want to do it, you know. It's like, man, this is exactly what I need because when I'm feeling like, oh, I don't feel like working out today or whatever, you know, when I see my dog, you know, shoot, they ready to go hit that run or run in or something. It's like, oh, okay, you know, it's the best workout partner you're ever going to have is uh, one of these dogs. Um, So... Again, but is it for you? So, 
Now that's from the outside looking in, there's things you can see. Now things you don't know, the things that, that you're not seeing is the constant, the constant drive into these dogs. It's not a, it's not a, one of those, you know, you get lazy, you want to have a day off type thing and, or you're just not feeling it and you don't want to work out so you're not going to do it type thing. You know, you, you can't get away with that with these dogs. Like I said, you can relate these dogs to, to athletes, but the difference is these dogs, they don't want a week of recovery. <laughs> you know what I mean? They still want that walk. They still want that. They want to go on that run. So imagine having all that cooked up in you and your owner or your trainer, I should say, isn't letting you get that out. Just imagine the energy built up, the natural frustration natural frustration I mean that's normal so now you have a dog full of energy now don't get me wrong you can train a dog but I don't believe you can change a dog there's a difference I can train the dog and I can prevent things from happening because I know this dog That's not only training the dog, that's training myself as well. But what I can't do is change this dog. But I can prevent things from happening, whatever I don't want to happen, I mean, anything. So, um, so now you got a dog full of energy, puppy or dog at this point and uh full of energy and you wanted to take the day off you didn't want to you know take it on that normal walk or play with it this you know today or whatever so later on you find out the dog done chewed up something now you're scolding the dog you get on the, getting on to the dog but really you should be getting on to yourself because you know exactly why why this happened the dog doesn't do it all the time as it normally do it and usually y'all going on y'all walks and everything then that's the problem it's not that. I'm not going to take it as deep as saying all oh, the dogs throwing a fit and try to tell you that's just jokes and ha ha. But what's really going on is this dog just has so much built up, it's dying to get get it out. My belief, it's my personal belief, it's almost as if they don't realize what they're doing. Don't get me wrong, you catch them and they're like, oh crap. You know, you can tell that they're, you know, and you know, they know they're in trouble. But my belief, as in, my belief is in that moment, that dog had so much built up, it started doing something it almost didn't realize it was doing until it was too late. It's one of those you just have to kind of own one of these dogs to understand. And then once they, once they started chewing, it's like, oh, they in it now. Their mind, you know, it just, that, that, that switch just hit and it's just simple, it's something. So, that's things like that, little things like that. And it turns into big things. It's things you have to think about with this breed. I've had, uh, we first moved into a house and uh, I guess there was uh, mice in the wall or something. Oh, there was, there was mice in the wall. And uh, I didn't know that at first, you know. We had no idea. Uh, we have a dog, we had one dog at the time inside and uh, we used to let, let him, you know, we'll let him stay loose and, you know, whether we're here or not. I came home one day and uh, there was a hole in the wall. <laughs> like literally, there was a hole in the wall, in the hallway. So, of course, instantly, I trip, I'm mad, you know get onto the dog and put him in the, uh, the kennel and tell him that's no, you know, all that stuff. And, you know, then I have to go fix the wall. You know, it happened that fast. It's just like, what the hell? And then, you know, boom, get onto him, put him up. 
fix the wall, move on. So then, the, I'll probably the next day later, actually, uh, I was doing something in that hallway, and then sure enough, I heard scratching on the wall. And I put my, you know, I get closer to the wall, and I can tell that there's, you know, a mouse or something in there scratching on the wall, or whatever it's scratching on. Instantly. Instantly, I felt like an asshole. Because <laughs> I knew exactly what my dog was doing there. So that goes into the prey drive. Now, if you put that prey word in front of it, it kind of almost sounds intimidating. But it's not that. Alright? It's not that. So, if you're not working your dog, if you're not letting me, even from the runs and just the tug of war and all that, to with the rope and all that stuff, like, if you're not doing all that stuff, that drive, all them different drives are going to come out more and more in this dog with this breed. And don't get me wrong, it's going to come out regardless. But when you're working them, they get to burn it out. You see what I'm saying? And then they learn where to put that energy. They learn where you want them to put it. So again, I'm not changing them, not stopping him from having that drive. I'm teaching them where to put it. At the same time, preventing them from where I don't want them to put that or her. So, that's the trick. So, you have to think, put that, I mean, all that's in consideration. Now, the prey drive in these dogs is natural. And to be honest with you, again, that's, it could easily get out of the breed when you're talking about the prey drive, as far as American Pit Bull Terrier, because the prey drive is really comes from the terrier in general. Now we can go as small as your Jack Terrier and all that stuff. All right. Everybody hears Terrier and they just think Pit Bull. That's where the confusion comes in. All right. These little uh, Jack Russells and all that, you'll be surprised. You'll be surprised. <laughs> oh, they love uh, find them a, a hole in the ground or, you know, a do the barn hunting with the rats and stuff, you'll be surprised. So if you got one of that one of them, that's a working breed. So you'll be surprised. So again, this drive is gonna come out. If you're not redirecting that energy, now you're dealing with a headache. Your dog's always hyper. Your dog's always jumping on you. Your dog is not listening to you. It's chewing things up. You know, that's not the dog's fault, all right? Because I can tell you with this breed, you can't get this breed, the American Pit Bull Terrier, and raise it in an apartment, but think you're only going to let it out on the balcony. You <laughs> see what I'm saying? It's not going to work. I promise you it's not going to work, and then you're going to be left with a nasty taste about this breed in your mouth, and it was never, it was never the, the American Pit Bull Terrier's fault, it was yours, the entire time. One, you were ready, you ready, you set it up for failure. Two, you were re never ready for the dog in the first place. Alright, so you have to be real, you have to be honest with yourself. So all that good looks and everything, that muscle, that everything you see from the outside looking in, you know, it's not easy. To maintain that look on them dogs, to keep them looking that way, it's not just, you know, feeding them and uh, letting them jump on the couch with you and sleep with you in the bed. You know, it's a lot more than that, I promise you. You have to be responsible, like I said before, it's like, it's like owning a, 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 a loaded pistol with no safety. All right, you're, you're just 
just waving it around all the time. You gotta know what you're doing with it. Okay, and that's not to knock the American Pit Bull Terrier. I'm talking, that goes back to the Terriers in general. Alright, the working dogs in general. Just so just keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. Uh, so if you're thinking you're going to get this breed and uh, raise them as, as a pack and change the, you know, you're wrong already. Because to be honest with you, with the working breed, Especially as far as the whole raising them as a pack and, you know, just ignoring the history of the breed. You really don't know what you're going to get until it's too late. You may get a dog that, you know, just naturally, you know, just, I don't know, I guess you would call it the, your, dream, your dream dog, maybe. I don't know, just it, it was easy. And then you may get one that started off that way, and one day you just, you know, snapped, you know, for whatever case, just started doing things that you didn't like. I already started doing this as a puppy, and you thought you was going to be able to change it, and it just never did. Because, you you know, you got one before, and you was able to do it. Or it was, it acted a little better. It doesn't go back to the, <clears throat> the breeder. It doesn't go back to the, to the breed. And it's not like that. It goes back to you. Alright, you're over here rolling dice, but all you gotta do is follow the handbook. It's there. It's right there. <laughs> what you gambling for? All your answers are right there. So. At the end of the day, this is all just my personal opinion. From the outside looking in. From listening to other people. From questions from, questions from other people. It's just my opinion. You have to know. You have to really do your research. And uh, again, I'm talking about the American Pet Bull Terrier. Breed is not just for anybody. And that's okay. There's certain things that I love to look at and watch that I know is not for me. But I love to look at it and watch it. All right? I watch movies all day. You know, I'll watch it. I'll sit down and watch a good movie. You know, that was on a Saturday or Sunday night. You know, and, hey, I'm with that. But you ain't going to see me jump up and try to be an actor the next day either. You see what I mean? I know my limits. <laughs> At the end of the day, too, something's better. Uh, it's, something's better to look at from the outside. You get to appreciate it. It's like they say, once you start doing something or turning what you love into work, it changes it. So, yeah, so, I mean, it doesn't make you a bad person or anything. Just, yeah, sometimes a breed just isn't for you. And you have to be realistic with yourself. Right? It's that simple. Now, again, that can easily be related to all working breeds, all right? all working breeds but I can tell you about the American Pit Bull Terrier there's a lot of people that see them especially mine that's never owned the breed before and they say they want one and I'm not mad at them for that I get it that's how you everyone fell in love with the breed they saw it and they said oh we at one point in time that's you know that's where the story your story gets to so uh I get that but don't be so quick to jump the gun. Don't be so quick to get in your feelings when you're denied. All right? It ain't personal. Okay? It's not personal, but you got to be realistic. So, if you're not living an active lifestyle, if you don't plan on letting a dog live an active lifestyle with no time off, then this ain't for you. And that goes for the working breed. But I could definitely tell you, the American Pit Bull Terrier is the American Pit Bull Terrier, all right? They want to be active. They want the dog walks. They want all that. They even like jumping in that car, going for the car ride to the beach, wherever y'all may go. They want it. They need it. 
All right, don't stress your dog out. I'm get him out there. All right, y'all, I appreciate y'all listening. We're going to get to, to this again next week. Of course, fresh topics. Again, appreciate the comments, messages. Don't hesitate to reach out. You see a lot more of the dogs on uh, Instagram, THK940. Facebook, Try Hard Kennels. If you're trying to contact, that's probably your best way. Through Facebook or Instagram. Once again, appreciate it. Tips and tip top shape. Legendary music. Try Hard Champion Clothing. Try Hard Champion Clothing on YouTube. Excuse me. On Instagram, Facebook, Legendary Music. On YouTube, Instagram, Facebook. BU. Big shout out to BU. More on that coming soon. Just keep that in mind. BU. <laughs> All right, guys. I'll see y'all next time. Everybody, uh, stay safe out there. And keep going, man. All right.